But today I'm talking about how to release the golf club properly and how to time it and the easiest way to learn how to release the golf club. Uh, so the first thing that we have to understand is what we're talking about when we're talking about the release. And I hear a lot of people uh, worried about releasing the club too late or not releasing at all. And that's really impossible uh, to do. And I don't think I've ever seen it in my 35 plus years of teaching golf. And when we talk about the release, basically we're talking about in the in the golf swing, we create a leverage angle here between the leading arm and the club shaft. And as we swing down, we maintain a lot of that angle uh, as we're coming down. This is also called lag. So the club is lagging our leading arm. And so as we come in, and some people refer to it as both arms, uh, I like to keep things simple, talk about the leading arm, the club's lagging behind. Now when the club catches up to the lead, arm alignment the club is fully released and what happens at that point is the club head starts to have a lot of rotation the golf club as a whole is rotating but where we notice it is in the club face and the club head that it's rotating and in this case before impact so it's your job as a golfer if you want to improve to learn how to release the club in a way that at impact the club is still lagging slightly behind the leading arm. Now I'm going to put in a couple uh, short clips of video here and talk to you about what's happening and showing you Tiger Woods and a few other of the great players of the game and you can see uh, what they're doing. And what you should notice uh, is that the leading hand is in front of the leading leg at impact with the club lagging behind. So if you drew a line here, leading arm, is there clubs lagging behind and right after impact what happens the club comes into alignment with the leading arm in line with the leading leg and you'll see this in all great players so you see here in tiger woods how the club is lagging behind and as we get into impact if you look uh the club has not reached the alignment of its left arm yet so the hands are well ahead and then here the club is totally released as you see also another iron shot uh, you can see how the club is lagging his left arm and now the club's fully released driver same thing coming into impact leading hand is in front of his leading left leg and tremendous lag there with the driver and you can see coming in club still not caught up at impact so the club's not fully released yet and then here it's fully released so you can see here also with John Rahm, the angle at the top of the swing, and as he comes down, you'll see that angle even actually increased a little bit as he started down. And as he gets close to impact, you can see how much the club is lagging and at impact also. And the club's fully released here then after impact. Uh, sadly, in my estimation, about 98% of amateurs and even some pros uh, nobody you see on tour, however, are releasing the club too early. It's been my goal for a long time to help my clients and help people understand uh, how to release the club at the right time, and which for 98% of golfers means releasing the club later. When you're releasing in here, what's happening is the club bottoms out too early, and you either hit the ground too early or the club starts coming up as it gets to the ball and you end up topping or hitting the ball thin. Uh, it also accounts for hitting the ball left and right uh, because the club face is rotating so quickly, the same swing can be either uh, from one swing to another, open or close. You won't see a difference on video at all, uh, but look, using a launch monitor, what you'll see, uh, one swing open five degrees, the next swing closed five degrees. Uh, in some cases, there's even more rotation than that. So I'm gonna talk about the problem with releasing early and why it's impossible to play consistently good golf if you are doing so, and how then we can fix it. And I have a simple program that you can follow that's going to help you improve your release, improve impact, and therefore help you play better golf. And it's something, if we do it properly, it should happen very, very quickly. In my schools uh, that I have around the country, 
Uh, you can learn very quickly over three days how to do this. Uh, and I'm going to talk also about how you can do this online and in the comfort of your own home. Uh, one thing I like to use, uh, this divot board here, one of the greatest training aids that I've discovered um, and what it does when I make a golf swing here it shows exactly where I made contact uh, with the ground and how and so if you look at this you can see that I started right where the ball would be that's that yellow circle and what happens it, it has a nice straight flat spot here through past impact now most people what they're doing, it would be hitting way back here when they start out. And that's because of the early release. So it's very easy to erase this. Um, I have a link here uh, below if you want to get yourself one of these for working at home. And you'll save 10% if you use the link or if you use the code uh, Kirk10 uh, when you check out. Um, again, this is, it provides great feedback. Again, what most people, when they're releasing early, it looks like this. And simply because the club is bottoming out too soon. And so you will see here, if I'm making a golf swing in slow motion and I'm coming in, but I release early, watch what happens. The club is already on the ground. Without changing my body, uh, I can lift the club back up. I have leverage. If I continue on, you'll see as long as the club's lagging behind, it's, it's not going to run into the ground until I let the club release and then it's going to make contact with the ground and it's going to make contact farther forward. Uh, this has the effect if we're moving properly and this is what my simple program teaches you how to do. If we're releasing properly, we're gaining a flat spot here through impact where the club is just skating along the ground. Uh, it's not digging deep holes. You might have heard recently Tiger uh, saying to Scotty Scheffler that when he's hitting the ball great, he doesn't take a divot. Well, that's how it's possible that he's flushing the ball. He's hitting it so good here, and he's releasing as he's turning through that he creates this flat spot. Now, this is only possible, first, if we have the hands leading, and second, if the body, the body needs to be rotating as so... The leading leg needs to be straightening and the uh, leading shoulder rotating upwards around the spine this way. And that pulls the grip upward and inward as the club's releasing. You don't have to think about all that. I have a simple system of drills that teaches you how uh, to make perfect impact. First, starting from here to here and learning to move the club perfectly and then how to customize your hands on the grip so that the club face is automatically square. And that's one of the biggest advantages of the hands leading is that we're slowing the rotation of the club face through impact. So the club face is staying square uh, from here through here, and that's our goal. We also get a nice straight spot through impact along with the flat spot. Uh, it's also what enables us to hit the center of the face uh, because if the club's like this, contact's always going to be low on the face, tilt the club forward, and you're going to make contact in the middle of the face. So we're always going to have as a goal the hands up here. We have our shaft lean. We're in the act of releasing the club completely at an after impact. So the club is releasing. We're not going to go all the way through like this. Uh, we're going to learn to let the club release. I'm going to talk about the mechanism for that in a second, uh, but again, uh, we have a flat spot, we have a square club face, we have a straight path, we hit in the center, and it's also what is going to provide more speed uh, and club head speed through impact through parametric acceleration because the grip is moving upward as we're delaying the release till here. So we'll have maximum speed at the point of impact. I also uh, simplify the golf swing and make it easier to learn how to do this simply through the setup and how I teach you to set up on your impact plane. So uh, basically setting up with the wrists in an uncocked position. So instead of starting here, uh, I'm set up here. You can see this uh, in a, most of my videos here on my channel. And I talk about how to go about converting and raising your hands, setting up on your impact plane. 
and then uh, learning to customize the simple concept. Um, and again, the mechanism then, what I was going to talk about uh, for releasing the club at the right time is the trailing hand here, for me the right hand because I'm right handed, the trailing hand's job is really to hold the club back. It's kind of like a slingshot. Uh, so what I'm doing is holding it here as I'm moving down. And so the job of, of the right hand is to hold the club like this. And so you can simply learn here by holding. You can see, obviously, if I never release, and that's what a lot of people are afraid of, if I never release, the club's never going to get down to the ground. And so we have to learn uh, with the trailing hand to hold and then to let go at the right time. If I let did happen to let go too late, you see I'd be hitting up past where the ball would be. Um, if I'm doing as most people are doing, they're applying force with the trailing hand, trying to throw the club through impact, and that's what's causing the early release, and that's why the club's hitting in the wrong spot. So if I learn to let go at the right time, you'll see the club learns, we learn how to control the club so we can strike the ground in the right place. And so the way to practice this then uh, is first learning to simply move slowly with short swings, releasing at the right time, creating a nice straight path. Um, this also teaches you uh, your distance from the ball. And I use that as one of my customizations is that if I'm getting set up and I make a swing and we see this, let's see, I marked the board uh, too close to my body. So now I have to move a little bit closer. And the same, if I marked over here, I'm too, in that case, I'm too close to the ball. Um, so this is really a valuable, valuable tool in learning. Um, what I do uh, through my learning program, I have a series of drills on the website. So, and as a member, you get full access to those drills. And I guide you then step by step through you submit videos to me. And I then show you uh, if the club's releasing early or not. And starting with the short swings. And I guide you through the customizations necessary where you can learn uh, to hit great shots consistently straight and your game will improve very, very quickly. Simply following the program, sending in videos, you're able to communicate with me on a daily basis, uh, simply uh, sending in videos, and we're going to get you on the right track. Visit one of my schools around the country. Again, if you have any questions or comments, pop them in the box below. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.